Bridgeport police announcing today they've made two arrests in connection with a series of robberies targeting Facebook Marketplace customers in the city's north end. Frank Breccia has the story. I think it's terrible. It was here on Thorm Street in the north end of Bridgeport that police say these men, 21-year-old Isaiah Bendoff and 18-year-old Shaheim Donald, conspired to commit first-degree robbery by targeting people on Facebook Marketplace. By creating fake ads using the accounts YC Spada and YC Shah to lure victims, mostly to Trumbull Avenue, on the promise of selling or buying cars, video game consoles, or phones. Police say one unsuspecting family was led behind a building where they were threatened with being shot and then robbed. I didn't even know that until today, and I'd like to go visit that family and comfort them as much as I possibly can. Bridgeport City Councilwoman Michelle Lyons represents the district where police say the robberies took place. And it's such a sad event happening in their life. It's, it's, it's frustrating, it's, it's horrifying, and you're, it's scary. Lyon says anybody who plans to use Facebook Marketplace going forward should take advice from the Bridgeport Police Department and insist upon meeting at one location only, police headquarters at 300 Congress Street. And I believe that's the safest place you could be to have a transaction between two individuals. If you make a mistake, you can turn it around. As founder of the nonprofit Color a Positive Thought Foundation, Harry Bell, who grew up on Trumbull Avenue, says he was heartbroken to learn about this case. He says he wants anybody involved in it to remember that Bridgeport is, quote, the city of second chances. Understand what you did wrong, but understand that you can correct that. In Bridgeport, Frank Recchia, News 12, Connecticut. Frank, thank you. Police said Donald's bond at $150,000. His mom telling News 12 today, quote, he's a good kid with a bright future and will have his day in court.